to you. Well, I am a little concerned, honestly, if the federal bureaucracy, whether it's in the Pentagon or any other agency, is already having discussions about how to counterman the commander in chief. I mean, let's remember how this works. He got elected president. He's the commander in chief. He gives the orders. They follow them. And so I don't like the idea, candidly, Wolf, of non-elected government people at any level having meetings with each other about how to thwart the duly elected president of the United States. So I'm really hoping that when Donald Trump names his uh, uh, nominee for the Pentagon uh, and then they take office and you have your National Security Council in place, that we have a much better working relationship between the White House and the Pentagon than what I'm reading tonight, which is one part of the federal government already having some kinds of meetings about what it would look like to thwart the president. That's not a that's not a good way to start. But let me follow up, Scott. Let me follow up with you because Trump, uh, as president, will be the commander in chief. But what these Pentagon officials are considering right now and discussing among themselves, what if he gives the Pentagon, the, the U.S. military, illegal orders to do certain things? What do they do then? My, my my advice to them would be instead of talking to each other, talk to the president and talk to his senior staff. Because this I look what's happened. They're having these meetings. Now it's out in the open. I mean, what is Donald Trump supposed to think now? You've already got the government, uh, the bureaucracy, you know, plotting against you or, or thinking the worst of you. So I, I look, I, to me, the best thing that could happen here is for them to talk to each other, meaning the Pentagon people and the president and his team. That, that's what really ought to happen. So uh, I hope these like secret meetings that now somehow find them, their way into the press, that, that really needs to stop. And we need more communication between the incoming government and the people who are already in the building. Yeah, is that